Hey everybody, this is your daily dose of medicine and in this episode we are going to talk about fecal calprotectin test. It's a stool test mostly done for diagnosing inflammatory bowel diseases, for example Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, but we will learn more in the next slides. Alright, let's get started. First of all, what is it? It's a non-invasive laboratory test. And fecal calprotectin is a biochemical measurement of the protein calprotectin inside of the stool. Calprotectin is a protein found in human blood, saliva, cerebrospinal fluid, and urine when some part of the body is inflamed. When detected in the stool, calprotectin has a direct relationship to bowel mucosal damage, which is characteristic for inflammatory bowel diseases. Having a raised calprotectin level generally means you have active inflammation inside of your body. The higher the level of fecal calprotectin, the more inflammation present in your intestines. And calprotectin concentrations of 120.1 microgram per milligram and higher than that are suggestive of an active inflammatory process within your gastrointestinal system. And the normal range between 10 to 60 microgram per milligram. We said that these tests are mostly used for diagnosing inflammatory bowel disease, but we can use this also in individuals are already diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease as it can identify the level of inflammation. For example, if a person diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease subsequently shows low levels of fecal calprotectin, this means that the inflammation is being controlled, so the treatment regime is working. In adults, it has sensitivity of 93%, specificity of 96% for inflammatory bowel disease. In children, it's less specific. And in addition to inflammatory bowel disease, we have other causes of a raised fecal calprotectin. For example, bowel malignancy, celiac disease, and infectious colitis, and lastly, use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So that's it for today. If you liked it, push that like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. Take care.